Good morning, Station Nation. I'm Jose. And I'm Luis. And here are your announcements. For all students taking an AP exam in spring 2023, AP registration process for this year begins the last week of September 29th and runs to the end of October. There are two websites to register for the exam, Total Registration and College Board. In order for a student to have an exam ordered for them, you must register on both sites. You are only paying once, of course, but registering twice. Details including links and pricing are on our counseling website at bid.ly slash bshs AP exams. So what did you do for fall break? You know, I was learning how to cook some stuff. Speaking of cooking, let's see what the culinary students are up to. I can't wait to see what they're making. I can smell something in the oven. I think something's cooking. <gasps> oh, hey. I'm Briggs Scatterdown. I am Shelly Fuquay. What are some of the specific cooking activities that your students will do in this class? Uh, our students start out with the basics. The concepts involved in that, time and temperature, not burning the school down, oh, these yes. are concepts that they use for, throughout the mall. And so then they build on that. So then they'll, they'll maybe take pancakes and then they'll do fried chicken strips and then they'll start doing fajitas and they'll start doing stir fries and things like that um, as we build on those skills. What are some of the requirements that you have for your students when they're starting out? The freshmen and the culinary students can take foods and nutrition. That's the foundational class. That's where we learn the basics. And there isn't a requirement other than being in the culinary pathway or being a freshman. So safety and sanitation is first and foremost. Nobody goes in the lab until they've demonstrated that. And then once we do that, then we start developing on some of those basic skills. That's great. We have noticed some food being distributed throughout mm -hmm. the school during the day, some yes. of the students. And could you tell us a little bit more about that process, like what is it? Once the students are in the culinary pathway and they get uh, a little further along, then we begin to offer catering events uh, and we offer experiences in which faculty and staff members can purchase food and we deliver it. So we have two student-run businesses on top of the side catering that we do. The first one Mrs. Baker runs, which is the Northside Brew, and that is her coffee shop style. And then in their third year in the pathway, where they'll either be a junior or a senior, we run the Defender Cafe. And for the Defender Cafe, those students actually prepare um, bigger luncheons. So I witnessed some of the transactions and it smells amazing. So. Thank you, thank yeah. you. So to wrap up the interview, mm -hmm. what are um, some things you want like incoming freshmen to know specifically about the culinary pathway? One of the benefits about the culinary pathway is that my students actually graduate high school with the possibility of having an internship and having some business skills right. and they can leave high school and actually go work with a chef that we've built a relationship with in a professional setting without even having a college degree. Right. The hospitality industry is a great opportunity to, to make good money and to, to raise up. I mean you can even just start dishwashing at a restaurant and move up to manager pretty quick if you're a good hard worker. Right. Well this was so important for us to showcase that so that other students have this awesome opportunities. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. My pleasure. Here are Maggie and Elliot with a segment on Dance Blue. So we haven't had a Dance Blue since 2020. And this year we get to bring back that tradition. So we talked with Miss Meyer to find more about Dance Blue. And here's that interview. What is Dance Blue? So Dance Blue is a philanthropy event at the University of Kentucky host and it is a 24-hour no sitting no sleeping dance marathon where all of the money that students raise at the University of Kentucky throughout the year goes to the Golden Matrix Fund and the Golden Matrix Fund helps to support the UK hematology and oncology clinic which is um, a pediatric clinic at the University of Kentucky for children who are suffering from any type of 
pediatric cancer. And by standing for 24 hours and not sitting and not sleeping and standing on your feet and dancing, it's the way that the university says we're with you and we stand for you. Why is Dance Blue special to you specifically? Dance Blue is really special to me. I attended the University of Kentucky and had the privilege of, while I was a student there, getting to participate. My senior year of college, I actually got to help plan it. And through that lens, I was really able to see the impact that it has within our state of so many families across the state coming to Lexington to receive these services free of charge because of the work that the UK students do. What information should students know about our Dance Blue? Students should know that we are so excited to bring back Dance Blue this year, and it's been a couple of years since we've done it. Definitely want to be a part of it. We're going to do a shorter version. We will not be here for 24 hours. We'll be here for a couple, and it will be a great time, and it'll be for a great cause. Thanks for tuning in. And make sure to listen up for more updates on our mini Dance Blue. Attention students, teachers, and subs in the building. The theater department will be performing their fall play beginning first block and going into second block. Only release students who have a show ticket after the announcement has been made to the auditorium. Do not release students without a ticket. If you have a student who is not on the approved list who leaves your room, please write a referral for skipping.